Taylor Bodger, you probably haven't bumped into him this morning, but Josh Tracy is free to play in round three. How do you reckon he'll be feeling this morning? Yeah, I think he's pretty excited. Um, I had a coffee with him last week and it was pretty disappointing. I think he was um, playing some really good footy and trained really hard over the pre-season and um, the opportunity might have been there um, for him to play this week or last week or whatever, but I think at the moment he's pretty pretty excited to be available for selection next week, I think, at this stage. How important does he become given all the injuries that you've had to your front half? Yeah, well, I think he offers that um, that focal point up forward that we can we can have as a contest. I think Sean Darcy might be available this week as well. So those guys up forward to be able to just bring it to the ground for us and create a contest and, and not get out marked, I think that's going to be really important for us as a system and as a team. There's been much hype. Debutant by time happens. Do you think he'll um, handle it all right? Yeah, I think so. He's very laid back, country Victorian. So um, he's yeah, he's taken everything in his stride so far. I think for him to come out on the weekend and play really well, um, kick seven goals in the waffle was was great with all the adversity and stuff that's been going on last week with the the appeal and everything. So um, I think he's got a really good head on his shoulders, and I think when it does come time for him to play, he'll um, perform the team and play his role. Another young guy will be watching today, Dick Chapman. Um, how's he fitting in? Do you think he's uh, capable of making his debut? Yeah, definitely. I think he's been training really well over the pre-season as well, the same as Josh. They've had great pre-seasons and, um, yeah, he's done everything he can to be available for selection. So I think he's had a good, really good um, couple of hit-outs the last two weeks and um, he's always training really well. And I think if he does get caught up, he's ready to go. And like I said, he's going to play his role for the team. How did you measure yourself against uh, the Demons? Um, yeah, it was it was a tough loss. It was pretty disappointing for us in the end. Um, I think for us it was just the skill execution, um, the fundamentals that we'd been practicing really hard over the preseason, and we've been executing really well. It just let us down on the weekend. And um, like JL said the other day, it was our momentum. We didn't capitalise on it, and um, it really hurt us in the end because they were really efi- efficient going forward and um, cut, cut off a lot of our forward um, entries with the guys like um, May and Lever. So um, we'll be looking to improve this week. That's for sure. How do you turn that up or change things against the Giants? I think it's just going back to basics. Um, we're focusing on fundamentals, focusing on our skill execution, and um, I think for us it's that and system. Um, so those two things will be a big focus for the training today and the game on the weekend. You mentioned Sean Darcy. you think he'll spend a lot of time forward when he's back on the side? Um, not sure. I think uh, that's going to be up to JL and the coaching staff, but um, he's been training really well. He played a bit of forward last week in the match sim, so um, he's in a really good nick at the moment. So hopefully, um, whatever's required of him, he'll be able to come in and play his role. It's been reported. Um, oh, you go, bro. You played a bit of small forward before you got to the club. Is that right? I mean, you've obviously made a great fist of uh, things in the midfield, but given the situation and the problems up there, has that been discussed at all, or are you, are you keen not to give up your spot? Um, no, I'm happy to do whatever the team requires, and I think. As a midfielder, we've been um, floating forward a little bit more this pre-season, so um, if that's what's required, I played a little bit on the weekend. Um, but yeah, I think at the moment, our small forward stock is pretty, pretty good. I think the boys played pretty well on the weekend, so um, for me, it's just going to have, I think it's going to be what the um, team and the game requires. So um, whether that's midfield or forward, I'm kind of, it's up to the coaching staff and um, I'm happy to do whatever they need. What, how did you think the midfield worked? Some of the numbers, clearance contested ball were actually okay, despite the loss? Yeah, I think in terms of the actual stoppage stuff, we were, we were quite happy with how we went, but it was just our efficiency going forward. We need to be better at making the most of those stoppage stoppage wins and um, being able to score from them. So um, that's going to be our focus as a midfield group going into this week. What have you made of the Giants so far in your preview of them? Um, we have actually have our meeting this morning, um, so we'll go through them in a bit more depth um, then. But yeah, I was, uh, last year we played them and at Optus and they touched us up and um, it was a really tough game because they just moved the ball so slick and um, yeah, their ball movement's fantastic. So I think for us it's going to come back down to, to basics and we're going to really focus on us and, and executing our fundamentals in our system. How does the new man on the mark rule affect the way you play, Caleb, if at all? Um, well, I guess the, the ball movement's a lot faster, um, so you're able to open up the 45s a lot more through the middle and try and bring the ball through the guts a bit more. So I think for us midfielders, that's, that's nice to try and get, get the ball through the middle a bit more and, and access our shape through the midfield. But um, I think as well, um, it's, it's nice to kind of be able to play on and move the ball a bit faster as well with the overlap run from guys like Youngie and stuff like that. So um, I think we're going to continue to try and explore those options and, and see if we can kind of exploit the, the rule a bit more. Rotation-wise, is much changing for you at all? Um, oh, it's just kind of what's required. It's, it's a bit different. I think there's a little bit longer stints out on the ground, a little bit longer stints on the bench. So um, I guess on the weekend it was a bit tough because we had to rotate a few guys forward, like Fifey and Dave, playing a bit taller. 
um, up forward. But I think usually it's just going to be yeah, a little bit longer rotation. So, um, but nothing on the weekend really changed too much, I think. Um, so it was pretty good. How many breaks on the bench did you have in a normal game? Um, I think last week it was usually about one, one rotation on the bench of about six or so minutes. So, um, yeah, it just depends on the quarter and the game situation and, and who we have available as well playing. Are you disappointed if you started the season on two? Definitely. I think our, um, our expectations internally of ourselves is that we want to play finals and we want to be winning games of football. So if, if we're on two, that's not where we want to be. But at the moment, we're just focusing on the game this week and um, what we can do to execute our system and our basics and, and hopefully come out on top. How's the confidence amongst the playing group? Obviously, losing the weekend, pretty disappointing. And then more injuries building up on the weekend and early in the week. How's the confidence amongst the group? Yeah, the confidence is fine. It's it, Obviously, it was disappointing and we reviewed it pretty heavily. And um, I think for us, it's just, like I said, getting back to basics. Um, we've been training really hard um, throughout the whole preseason. I think on the weekend was was really disappointing for in, in terms of what we have put in over the preseason and um, the hard work we have, have been doing. So I think for us, it's just coming back down to those the basics and the system and, and trusting that. Um, and we have full confidence in the system and, and what the players are going to do that do run out there on Sunday. Um, so, yeah, hopefully for that result in a win. How did you find it riding to Miki? Yeah, great. We've kind of been working together for the last couple of months and um, yeah, with Sean, with Sean going out, that created an opportunity for Miki to, to come in and make his mark and he's been fantastic. He's been stepping up every week to the challenge and um, on the weekend was the same. He was able to, to compete really hard all day and, and offer a, a consistent contest for us as a ruck. So um, I think he's going to keep making those um, strides forward and hopefully just keep improving.